Would you have expected to see this if I told you I was going to a kite festival? I had no idea what I was in for this weekend. I'm here at the Swift Current Kite Fest and I've just gotten my hair under control. Uh, it's windy out there, but for once, that's a good thing. It means that kiters can come from across the world, as far as Germany, and they can fly all sorts of things on our skies. This guy's my favorite. Soon, I happen to cross a show by the Rev Riders. They fly Rev kites to music, and their choreography leaves you breathless. My name's Scott Weeder. I'm from uh, Cranston, Rhode Island. I am a uh, team founder and captain of the Rev Riders. I've spent between 30 and 50 hours on a three to five minute piece before I even present it to the rest of the team. It's a passion, I, I love it. I've been flying kites uh, on and off for the better part of 20 years. And what we do is quad line uh, demonstrations and ballets. And we are traveling across the country and internationally to promote kiting uh, and just to have fun, really. I mean, uh, you look around you, all you see are people smiling. It's, uh, it's a healthy addiction. And smiling they were. Kids, adults, or adults who want to be kids. It's not just kites, either. There's delicious barbecue, great vendors, and incredible artists, including Paul, a Sask culture animateur, who is out telling people about culture days this September. Him and Jonah McFadden were making poetry and comics for the day. If I were a kite, I would want to be an alligator. That's exactly how I felt when I saw that alligator. <laughs> the whole show, including the Music Fest, is put on by Shan and her army of volunteers, and this is just the sixth year for the Kite Fest. And how did the, uh, the Music Festival, the Long Days Night Music Festival, come into the picture? Uh, well, actually, the Music Festival was first. The Kite Festival came second because I wanted to fill the tent during the day. <laughs> so it actually, it's worked really well. So they complement each other. They, you know, are in the same building. Thanks for coming, Sask Wanderer. <laughs> no problem. So why not check into the Music Fest? The Sadies were playing and everybody was having a great time. There's something, too, about their haunting western sound that makes you wonder what else has flown over the skies of Saskatchewan. I gave you a gift.